Well, hello everyone. It is Friday, the 12th of May, 2023. I am Del Delbridge, Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. This is your status chat. Well, it's going to become a little bit more of a phone it in Friday status chat because I've had computer trouble just recently. I've replaced my old multifunction machine, which is a brother. I don't do a lot of printing at the house, and it's my second one. And it finally got where it wouldn't do black, and I couldn't fix it. So we bought another one in the process of installing the new system. We were able to uh, get tricked a little bit by something in the install. We pull up the page. It was put something in here, install the following, and I installed it, clicked it. As it started running across, I realized that that was somehow like a little add or bait thing stuck up right above the actual brother install, and I cut it off. And of course, then I went back in and I ran the malicious software tool and they didn't find anything wrong so I installed the brother software and now I can print from a cell phone it's beautiful scan from a cell phone but it wouldn't let me back into on the Chrome browser it wouldn't let me back into uh, Facebook which is where I post some of these Friday updates it would let me in on a different profile so I so I delete. Oh, I deleted the history and the cookies and that for a while, and to see, and it still wouldn't work. So I went back into other profiles. If Google profiles or their personal profiles, they work. They found Facebook, but it would not scan. It still didn't want to work. I even I eventually deleted Chrome entirely and reinstalled it with, of course, no history. Still wouldn't work. So I ended up having to go back in, uh, make sure that uh, the sync was turned off go in there and actually delete the Google profile, the Gmail profile from this computer, this browser, and then turn it back on. Uh, and it did work. I also deleted a full week's worth of cookies and stuff that seemed to fix it. So that's put us behind already in the production today. So today we'll get to our middle segment. If you like this content, please go to calldelltosell.com, find the tab that says on YouTube, click it, and it'll open up a page of QR codes. There you can use a smartphone to scan and get to the YouTube page, or you can just mouse over and click it on a PC. There you'll be able to subscribe to this little button over here and click the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when each Friday's blog has been uploaded. Thank you. Welcome to the middle segment. Today we're just going to pop up one story because I'm sure you've heard if you've been following me, the FHFA's uh, leadership is quite progressive. I think I can say that being politically correct. And they came up with an idea to cover the risk that she is adding into the FHFA, into the Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae system by her policies that uh, nobody voted for and were not put into place by someone who was elected by we the people. She just decided she's going to do it and nobody's stopping her and she is. So she came out with this program where she's going to take from the good people who have good credit and good incomes to debt ratio and all the other things that make them good for a loan and we're going to charge them more money at a higher interest rate we're going to collect from them to fund the bad the potentially bad the certainly high risk loans that she by her policy has put into place it created quite an uproar and uh, they backed off of that this week so that's what your news article is i'm not going to read it for you i'll post it i'll post it in the in the description over on the youtube page where you find this particular status chat and now we'll get right over to today's numbers Hello, I'm Del Delbert to Benchmark Realty, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. If you are currently unrepresented and would like to know how to compare up to three properties side by side and room by room, then go over to my new YouTube channel. Call Dell to sell. That's one L and Dell, no spaces. Watch the demo on Real Scout, and then call me and we'll set up your exclusive ad-free account today. Well, welcome to today's numbers. Last week, 5523, single to mile 23, we had 16,183 opportunities in the Real Scout system. That was down over the previous period. We had 4357 in the under contracts, still showing that was up over the previous period, but the ratio, integer level ratio between those two numbers remained the same at 27. Now this week, 5-12-2023, we have 16,246 opportunities, which increased a little bit over last week, and we have 4479 
in the under contract still showing it also increased and we have ticked up to 28 percent ratio there between those two numbers we appreciate you watching we got to get this put together produced posted because we've got we, we've got an appointment we got to get to and i apologize for that but uh yes if you're if your uh, browser accidentally gets something loaded into it, cut it off as soon as possible, do your scans, but you may actually have to pause sync on your Google profile. If you're using Gmail for any kind of thing, go ahead and then delete that account, reestablish it, and then you'll have to resync it back up. There we go. Appreciate you watching.